from the outdoor that has appeared in Hardbart, Business Week, TechCrunch, Venture Beat, and Giga Om. It's Larry Chiang. This video is a standalone video or to be used as a series of 20. This is Lecture 20 CS183E. CS183E for edit. Dump it. Dump it. Don't fall in love with this. Remember, we're supposed to be working on a cadaver to build our entrepreneurship muscles. We're not here to, to fall in love and like, you know, cuddle this cadaver that we're trying to resuscitate. We're trying to build our entrepreneurship muscles. We're trying to uh, execute where it's not the idea, it's the execution. So this lecture is about dump it and escaping and exiting from the thing that we have been rescuing and rescuing so awesomely. What we've been doing as far as part of Lecture 20 CS183E, what we've been doing is we've been trying to nudge forward from cadaver, no heartbeat. Now it's potentially got a heartbeat, but we don't want to stay with it. We want to have this as a feather in our cap where we get to say, hey, we when we got there, it was dead. And now it's no longer dead. We don't want to live in the turnaround industry. It stinks. It's morbid. Literally morbid. Um, we want to get a posh job being a product manager where we're literally ROTJ, retired on the job. Because working in the real world is massively easy and compared to CS classes or compared to engineering school, it is literally a cakewalk. So you will be retired on the job. Make no mistake, there is an actually an industry that is just turnaround. Uh, PE fund, uh, private equity fund, uh, LPs, limited partners, they actually actively search out for operators where they give you the money and then they give you a small piece of the equity and then you gotta turn it around. It reeks, it's horrendous. Uh, a subcategory of uh, turnaround is search fund. You don't want to do this stuff all the time. You just want to throw in your code, which is what CS183E has been, right? It's adding code. It's adding in a little bit of sales. That's it. We don't want to get an LP involved meetings. We don't want to, all, that's all we're doing is just getting in, getting out, leaving. Buying stock in broken dreams stinks. All you're doing is talking to people with broken dreams about buying the broke butt stock. That's that's all, that's all you're doing. You're literally trolling. Like the definition of trolling is kicking a person when they're down. Well, imagine kicking them while they're down, talking about their business because you got to know about all the intricacies and details of operation. And then, oh, by the way, uh, let's talk money and stock. And they're either going to be unreasonable where they want way more money, or just where they're just giving you twenty dollar bills for a dollar because they're just in a puddle. Why do companies sell at a distressed price? Okay, why is the company being sold for a fraction of uh, sales? Not 5X sales or 30X sales, or in a YC company's case, a million X sales because they haven't gotten a nickel of sales yet and they're just anticipating, oh, the social network would be awesome, we're gonna be at a million X sales. You're literally negotiating with a founder who just got a divorce and now they're forcing the sale in a fire sale, literally a fire sale, where one of the founders is getting divorced and some clause that they forgot to negotiate in, which is this company burns down when one of the founders gets divorced or they're dating at work. That's what kind of stock you're buying. It's disgusting. Sorry, I got a little depressing there for a second, but there are some awesome spinouts from legend this legendary CS183E, and that is CS183YC, is in Y Combinator. That's a hashtag. Write it down, grab a pen. R2D2VC, yes, the cute droid with VC venture capital at the end. Hashtag R2D2VC, grab a pen, grab a pen. R hashtag R2D2, as in the robot, VC. There's a series of protocols that are awesome there. Also, CS183A arbitrage. That's how you resuscitated it. You found arbitrage opportunities in places where they weren't looking or were too demoralized to look. And then also lecture nine, CS183, Peter Thiel's lecture. When a company is nearing the cadaver stage, there is actually a scramble for crumbs. There's actually, there, it is an industry, it's a, 
it's an industry that sells the paper called assignment for benefit of creditors assignment for benefit of creditors where you're just trying to scrape up existing assets ip and maybe some distribution deal but you know what they wouldn't be going bk bankruptcy if they had a great distribution deal in place so if you think buying the distribution on it it's going to be or the ip it's not defensible it's fighting for crumbs i briefly mentioned search fund as a subcategory of turnaround search fund uh takes place in two places harvard and stanford and at stanford there's a protocol a class stram gt353 stram st write this down write this down s-t-r-a-m gt as in go to stram gt353 paul thompson at harvard uh, who were we met and were friends before because I was writing that book he actually has a search fund that successfully fundraised and successfully acquired a company so this is actually a thing a search fund and I can attest that it costs zero dollars to get the Stram GT 353 book and if you're a CS major it costs no money well no money no money and uh, you just throw in code that's the whole thing for lecture 20 Sorry to go negative sometimes, but that's what working on cadavers and talking about dead startups and resuscitating do. It's kind of negative, and I'm kind of positive, but here's a super, super positive. Very few people are actually doing this. Very few people are actually doing this. You got to be in CS. You got to do sales, and you got to be a developer engineer who is willing to do sales has done sales and also now has to be comfortable with a cadaver i mean you can see how the subset of people who even just know cs i mean you're eliminating 99 percent of the population and then look inside your cs class who wants to do sales and then if you do know how to do sales why would you want to work on a cadaver here's another huge positive the majority of people went to school kind of a long time ago Remember, sales didn't get taught to engineers until the year 2021, where engineers don't typically know sales better than an MBA, which is what happened when you took CS 183S is in sales. Now that you're in lecture 20 of CS 183E for edit, you're in a situation where your skill set of knowing development, CS, knowing sales, and now working with a cadaver significantly helps you build your entrepreneurship execution muscles. So keep that in the holster and uh, know that you've got that as a tool. Engineers who actually know sales are going to be one of the first people to mutiny because if their hands are tied, their opportunities are everywhere. And so sometimes at the top, people don't, founders grab power and they don't want an underling uh, to shine. And that's what you're doing at the pre-cadaver stage is you're gonna be an engineer who shines because you're gonna be an intern and you're gonna know all the stuff that the old person, the 27 to the 28 to 32 year old does not know because they took engineering 145 in the year 2016 or 2015 where the sweet spot of it uh, the better knowledge comes later. Since CS183E Lecture 20 is essentially a class, you're essentially doing, in short, charity work uh, for a demoralized founder. Let me repeat that. You're essentially doing charity work for a demoralized founder that's currently in a puddle. Now, some of these puddles of people, they go hide in grad school. And if they're in a puddle, they may not be taking meetings or answering email. In fact, their email server might just be completely in disarray because they're just not maintaining it anymore. So, so you're essentially doing this, this charity work in, in building your own muscles and forcing your way into helping them even though they are in a position not to help themselves because they are simply in a puddle. When you're in here in CS 23E Lecture 20, you're looking to spin something out. And initially I mentioned Stram GT 353 and there's a used textbook that you can buy for under, definitely under $200, which is the list price. Uh, it's $2 on Amazon. 
So Stream GT353, there's a VC who initially was a GSB student, graduate school business student. His name was Vinod Kosla, and he was editing this company called Daisy. Ever heard of it? Yeah, it was a piece of crap. Didn't work, it did CAD, Computer Aided Design. But what it did do is it let him recognize the opportunity to start Sun, which is a sequel to Daisy. So you want to look to try to spin something out on your own. I think I've properly emphasized the fact that uh, we're working on our entrepreneurship execution uh, and not just falling in love with this cadaver. What's really important for you to take away is to know that the idea itself, and this has been said time and time again, that the idea itself is not the thing that's worth anything, it is the execution. So it's not the idea, which is what everybody thinks, oh, I got a great idea for business. It's actually the execution, and that's the, the, the takeaways, that's the confidence that you have now because you're at lecture 20 now. So congratulations for, for making it this far and doing the small sequence of homeworks associated. So good job with this execution. Seriously, congratulations. It was great uh, spending 20 lectures with you. 20 lectures, think about that. We're like best friends now. We've traded a bunch of texts. Have we? Hopefully we have. Go forth and you're at the highest levels of computer science and at the highest levels of business. Now, as a pat on the back for yourself, seriously, I'm not even joking, don't go start some company just because you want to start a company. Go retire on the job. Enjoy your early 20s. ROTJ is retire on the job. 35 hours a week as an engineer is like worth three weeks of other people's work for one week. So you spend 35 hours a week, go have a great time. Spend some of that big bucks that you're making as a product manager. Have a good time. It was great meeting you.